Welcome to The Real You, hosted by Louis Rivera. A show focused on helping others find their real purpose in life and interviewing those who live theirs. Get ready, Get ready to shift your life and perspective. Let's light it up. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Real You. I'm here with my good friend, Aiden Lee. And we're going to be talking about not only his business, but what makes an entrepreneur absolutely want to succeed in life, what keeps you motivated, and how you can absolutely do the same. So let's go ahead and check in with Aiden. Aiden, are you there? I'm here, buddy. Thank you very much for having me on. So Aiden is all the way in uh, London, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah, that's right. I'm just outside of London uh, near Heathrow Airport. So anybody who comes this way uh, will pass right by me. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Good to know, man. So, uh, Ada, tell us a little bit about your story, um, how you got to where you are today, and uh, we'll go from there. Sure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, so, my background is, is mostly in, in martial arts. That's where I originated back when I was about five years old. So, Looking about 19, 20 years ago now is where I originally started and I first learned under my dad who had one of the first um, kickboxing schools in the area back in the 80s mm -hmm. and um, throughout the, the years I think I was teaching from about 10 years old the other people in the class wow. and I was always uh, you know, trying to pick up and learn as much as possible. It was quite a, an old school sort of background so it was very sort of rough and tough sort of old school rocky gym if you like so you had to just get on with it and do that, uh, do what you're told if you like. But it was a good environment to, to learn in because everyone was always constantly striving to do better and to, to be more if you like. And I've been doing that since five years old or so, as I said. And since then, I've learned and adopted other arts from you know, Muay Thai to boxing to Wing Chun and to MMA. So that's really given me a different, a really big plethora of, of interests as well as you know, learning styles on top of that. And I went to uni a few years ago to study philosophy. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is combine sort of the mind and body elements uh, together, so I can always you know think analytically and critically and rationally about you know what's best to do, what's the next best step, mm -hmm. and things like that. So I also combine a lot of uh, yoga and things like that to make sure that the body is um, is supple as well as strong. So it's not just uh, about being strong. You know you have to have both to to really have it functioning properly. And that's been a key part of development over the last, I would say, seven, eight years. I've been learning that and putting, uh, you know, what's good about it into practice, what's not so much taking out, mm -hmm. and really combining the best of that together. So it would be in the last year or so, actually, I had my year anniversary. I started a Fit Roots, which is my, my holistic uh, personal training coaching business, so where I coach entrepreneurs and business people to get the most uh, action as they do in the bedroom. So from the boardroom as they do in the bedroom and to get a better ROI on their business and to look good, feel good and do good. And that's most, mostly males um, I teach there, but using the combination of methods I've just brought about. And yes, yeah, seen, uh, seen good improvements in the last few months. I have a private studio near Heathrow as well, and either in person or doing online coaching. Awesome, man. So uh, as far as physical condition, what are you seeing? I mean, because this is this is your this is your deal, man. You know, you're dealing with not only the mental aspect with which a lot of people focus in on. And it's not to say that mentality isn't a key factor in developing that grit. But how are you seeing the physical aspect impacting people? Quick question. Oh, hugely. Um, like you say, there are a lot of people now realizing the, the importance of focusing on not just the physical but the mental but to go back to the question physically speaking I mean you take one, one person for example who only started he's actually had his 12th week now so he's going into a new phase mm -hmm. um, he had been training for 10-11 years uh, beforehand by himself and wasn't really able to do much or achieve that much uh, in the last 12 weeks he's kind of outshone all of that in a you know tenfold really so it's really about being efficient and uh, you know really pushing the boat out there so I would say there's big changes and I think you find a lot of people uh, deal with a lot of fluff and try all these different things that they don't really need but when it comes down to it 
you say, right, this is actually what we need. And to be more efficient and to get results quicker, um, definitely physically, you can see the big, big results as a result of that. Yeah, awesome. So, <clears throat> when when combining when combining the physical aspect into your coaching, um, have you seen some of the mental blocks come up for some of these guys? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll say one of the biggest mental things is I do expect clients to do a fair bit um, I think some you know some people uh, can only expect their clients or say to their clients you know you only have to do this and you can get lean and, and ripped or whatever it may be they're looking to achieve mm -hmm. um, but on top of that you know I want people to have a better quality of life so you know uh, for example all good and well as hit training is I don't think it's, it's enough you know mm -hmm to do what people really uh, require. So I think that's quite the biggest mental shift that people need to realize that, yes, it's going to take a bit of work or a bit more than expected. And it's actually okay to go maybe a little bit slower than going from 0 to 100, maybe just take it a step at a time. And that's probably the biggest uh, change also that people need to be a little patient to. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's one of those things that that mentality that you're gonna go and start on January 1st and then all of a sudden January 15th you're gonna have the beach body that you always wanted right <laughs> <laughs> exactly precisely it's uh, it, it takes time right and it, and it takes you have to go and nurture yourself because the majority of people don't think about the aspects that they've gone and they've either hindered they've had previous injury I mean some of these guys are working at desk all day um, you know, the relationships that, that a lot of these habits have cost them, uh, either, you know, not exercising or not taking care of their mentality, um, uh, not eating the right thing so that they can focus when they're at work. All of those things come into play and it, it's a major, major factor, especially in the business world. It really doesn't matter what business it is, uh, junk in, junk out, essentially. Yeah, that's that's a great way of explaining it. You know, yeah, the garbage in, garbage out sort of analogy. You know, right, works really well. But if you're if you have too much garbage in over the years, you've, you've got some uh, catching up to do instead of uh, you know being able to do all at once. So yeah, that's a great way of explaining it. Cool, awesome. So <clears throat> when you're thinking about like the future of like continuing to help people, uh, expanding their mentalities of not only fitness, their entrepreneurial. Uh, adventures and whatnot. What would you say the three biggest things that you'd like to continue to do, or would like to incorporate, would be? Mm -hmm. uh, do you mean like three best maybe types of exercise or types of changes, or how do you mean changes? Changes. Yeah, changes. Okay. Um, I think it's really under made is uh, fully and well. I think that's that's a huge one. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of the Wim Hof method, method and uh, things like that. And when I use those sorts of methodologies with people already in such short uh, time span, you can really see the difference in, in their quality of life, but also everything else that comes along with that. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing uh, definitely I can see is a huge change. You know, people like say sitting down all day and things like that, not really fully breathing in or taking in uh, the amount of oxygen that they maybe should be, or that could really benefit them and give them uh, the energy. And the immunity that they need. So that's probably number one. Uh, number two is, is definitely having a more leaning to more more towards a more stress free lifestyle. Uh, probably due to less sleep. I would say sleep um, and stress management. I would say that comes along with that. So you could say that's two and one if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, find two pe people are you know, vastly under um, under rested or constantly stressed and there's too much tension there so it's, it's a bit of two and one with that so that's number two number three I would say is definitely having, having a more uh, plant-based dense dense diet with more fiber one thing I find with people is they lack a huge amount of fiber certain nutrients on top of that uh, which is only going to contribute to their, their illnesses or whatever it may be yeah for sure it's one of those things that the majority of people don't think about you know they'll go strictly paleo or they'll go uh, bulletproof or they'll go vegan or they go vegetarian mm. and uh, but they don't think about the fiber amount right they don't think about balance mm. right at, at the end of the day whenever you have any shifts just like you were talking about there is a stress factor be it mentally 
physically, emotionally, whatever it is. And, and that stress factor has to have some sort of buffer so that they can go and make a transition that's smooth, even if it's kind of challenging at times. Um, but there is a, a factor that has to go and contribute to allowing them to actually make that a habit. 66 days was the last time that, that I heard that it took to go and, and, and really invoke that change into that person's life. So 66 days for you to go and get enough fiber in, right, to go and get, make that a habit, right? 66 days of you breathing properly. And I just finished Wim Hof's program, this 10-week oh, nice. online program. So big, big fan of, of Wim Hof and everything that he's done and contributed and continues to contribute to humanity because he's just awesome. Oh. And, uh, and and really the, the biggest factor that I, I think that you just mentioned was the ability for them to manage stress. And that's, you know, you, you led me right to it, man. So I didn't, you know, this is not scripted uh, like a lot of shows are, you know, this is, you know, completely, you know, a, fl a flowing conversation. So um, when it comes to stress, what are you finding to be like the highest contributors to stress in people's lives? And what are three key aspects that you can give to the audience that could really just like help them change like starting today? Hmm. That's a, a great answer by the way, just to recap, you know, some, some really valid and interesting things there. Um, yeah, so when it comes down to stress, three key things. One I would say is uh, obviously nowadays the, the stresses are are different to when we, you know, ancestrally speaking, had them arise as much more direct fight, fight or flight nowadays. You know, stress comes in many forms, uh, unfortunately, but that's the way we've got to deal with it and we've got to have a little workaround if that makes sense. So one of the biggest things I would do is, is to mentally you know, realize when and where it comes up. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking at your phone before bed and you can't get to sleep after that, and then maybe you realize, oh, that's maybe the bright light from the phone that I should stop doing. So find it, find out what the purpose is or why it's causing you stress and when you can stop it or change it. And even if you can't, just even just noticing it is, is probably the first step and then you can find out, right, how can I actually fix that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that would be, I would say, number one. Uh, number two is, you know, like you said, you've just done, done the Wim Hof course. Uh, and it'd be great to hear your thoughts on that too. But uh, yeah, you, you clearly sound like it's, uh, it's been beneficial to you. I would say um, just doing some breath some form of breathing exercise, whether it be just uh, you know stand standard sitting down, crossing legs meditation, or doing some sort of more more um, controlled, heavier breathing exercise like that, if you like. Just something to really really fill yourself uh, with oxygen, feel good, get that feel good, relax factor would be number two. Uh, number three would definitely be more sleep. I think uh, not just more sleep for the sake of it, but better quality sleep. I find as well uh, as entrepreneurs with someone in that health space is that if I don't get enough sleep, I'm a bit cranky, I'm a bit, you know, this and that. It's not conducive to the success that I want to have, uh, you know, throughout my life or in my business. And I think uh, if I'm having that, I definitely know a lot more entrepreneurs who aren't even in this space are experiencing that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Man, those are awesome. I hope you guys are uh, are taking notes, and we'll make sure to go and have Aiden's uh, information so you can find him, look at his website, you know, ask questions, get get in touch with him because you know he's really he's really changing the game, and uh, that's why I wanted to ha have him on. It's it's one of those things that you know, like when Wim Hof came onto the scene, just to go and answer your question, just so I don't forget here. Uh, when Wim Hof came onto the scene and I was introduced to, to Wim Hof, frankly, I thought he was crazy, right? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be straight up. I was like, what are you talking about? This guy is swimming through, you know, ice, running through just like, you know, this cold, frigid air, you know, running through the desert without having water. You know, this just sounds like a ploy. You know, it, it sounds like the equivalent of of health meeting make money online <laughs> you know it's one of those things that just kind of like freaks you out it's just like because you know, it's so abnormal mm. <clears throat> but, oh I agree. it's so out there isn't it it's just i had the same sort of reaction i thought this guy is just like 
some sort of woo-woo master or something. <laughs> you know, you get that feel. Yeah, man. But, you know, one, one of my buddies who's, I mean, who's an absolute ninja when it comes to uh, functional fitness and, and really helping people get out of pain, uh, Naughty, who's uh, at Functional nice. Patterns. And uh, he went and he started doing it. I was just like, well, if Naughty's even going and testing it out, I was like, there has to be something there, you know. So I jumped into this, you know, and I'm already on my on my second round of the course, right? So now I think I'm on week 14. Yeah, week 14, uh, going mm-hmm. into week 15 of, of the course again. So it's a 10-week course, so doing it twice, I'm about five weeks in again. And... You know, there's there's things that you find out about your body, about your mentality, about what oxygen really does and brings to your life, how it can really like turn you on like mentally so that you can focus and how it can change your physiology. And yeah. more than anything, you become aware. And that is the biggest factor that I find with pretty much any industry that I've dealt with there is an awareness that needs to happen and the majority of folks oftentimes will go through their life and not develop an awareness be it physically mentally emotionally there's a lack of connection and with the Wim Hof method I think more than anything I've been able to develop a higher sense of awareness a higher sense of mindfulness and congruency and you know not to go and turn this into a commercial for Wim because he doesn't need it, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> uh, but you know, there's there's a there's a key factor that comes with oxygenating your body, and you know, when when we used to go and test this inside of the lab, you know, there is a factor that allows us to go and use our body's storage to the maximum level, and it allows you to use your storage to go and fuel your energy. You know, Dave Asbury talks about this. Joe Rogan talks about this. Using different factors of oxygen to go and essentially fuel you and help you get into that zone. Uh, The the book uh, talking about flows, there's plenty of them. uh, But getting into that state of ultimate focus so that you can essentially be your best. And the majority of folks are so stressed. And it's not even like... You know, you're being chased by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That That's not the stress that we're all under. We are under a stress that is absolutely hidden oftentimes. And the more aware that we are of that stress existing, the better we can uh, combat it and learn to go and deal with what's presented to us. Yeah, yeah, most, you, know, you made some amazing points there. I most certainly agree. Um, you know, the stuff, the avatars, but the stuff that we're doing is definitely life changing. Uh, same as, as Naudi, you know, huge respect for Naudi Aguilar from Functional Patterns as well. He's doing really changing up and shaking up the industry. So, uh, you know, props to him. Got to give him respect to where it's due. And uh, as you say, yeah, with the stress, people don't even realize that they're on the levels of stress they are. It's, uh, it's really phenomenal. And yeah, the way you described it really fits that picture perfectly. Awesome, man. So let's go ahead and, and, and start closing down here, shop. So Aiden, where can we find more information about you? Where can people train with you, talk to you about your coaching program? Uh, heck, man, just learn more about what you're doing. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, so you can find my website at www.fitroots.co.uk. So that's F I T R O T S. UK. I'm on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, all as Fit Roots at F I T R W O T S. And there, obviously, if you're in person listening to this near London, uh, I'm a private studio, which you could always always connect with and, and meet at. If not, online coaching is the other possibility and the other realm that I really love doing as well. So we'd love to talk to anyone who's listening to this, even if it's just to get uh, some advice and you know, guide you in the right direction. You know, I'd really appreciate the opportunity. Awesome, man. I I really do appreciate you taking time out of your schedule, man. Uh, It's been a pleasure uh, getting to know you. And, of course, we'll have his site information just in case you're listening to this on the road uh, right below the podcast. 
so that you can uh, get to Aiden and uh, connect with him. Likewise, Louis. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for bringing me on. All right, man. All right, guys. So we'll go ahead and have another episode coming here soon. And for now, we'll go ahead and bid you farewell. Take care. Thank you for listening to The Real You. We hope you are uplifted and refocused on your true sense of yourself. Visit us online at VogueFitnessForLife.com. Remember that in the absence of clarity, always take action. Shine on.